Hi there! It's me again, Gretch. And sa ngayon, magtuturo ako ng 5 tips in Microsoft Word. At sa mga hindi pa nakapag-subscribe, mag-subscribe na kayo and click the bell button para lagi tayong updated sa mga new videos natin. Thank you! Okay, so let's go now on our first tip which is to change the default font of your documents. So we have here an example of a document at makikita natin dito na ang nakaset na font niya is Times New Roman. But let's say nagtratrabaho ka sa isang organization na meron silang sinet na default font na dapat gamitin. Like Arial, Times New Roman, or whatsoever, pwede natin siyang iset as default font para mas madali. So, to do that, punta lang tayo dito sa Home, and then i-click lang natin ang arrow, ang arrow dito sa Font Options, at, at, wait, eto, at lalabas itong option box. And then we will choose yung prescribed font ng organization. Let's say for example, Garamond. And then pwede din natin iset yung sizes. And then naka-regular. And then set as default. Okay, so magre-reply si Microsoft Word and then sabi niya, this document only, this document only pag itong document lang ang gusto mong i-change. Pero kung gusto mong sundin yung, uh, or kung gusto mo na every time na mag-open ka ng new document, yun at yun yung default font mo, we will choose this. All documents based on the normal template. And then, click OK. At ayun, napalitan na siya into Garamond 12. At, okay, let's say mag-open tayo ng new document. So, ang lalabas na, ang naka-default na is Garamond. Yun, yun na yung sinet natin kanina. Every time na mag-open ka ng new document or gagawa ka ng new document, nakaset na siya sa Garamond. Ganun lang siya kasimple, guys. Okay, so let's go on our second tip, which is to make portrait and landscape in the same document. So, we have here an example of a document at makikita natin na naka-portrait yung all pages. Okay? So, we all know na to change the orientation of the document is we will just go to the layout, orientation, and then landscape. Okay, so makikita natin na naka-landscape na lahat yung document. But, what if meron lang part ng document ang gusto nating i-landscape? Okay, so ibalik natin siya sa portrait. Okay, so lahat na ng pages ay naka-portrait. At what if gusto lang nating i-landscape ang table na to? So, to do that, we will just click the table. Click lang itong table na to. And then, let's go to layout, break, and then next page. Okay? So, i-click ulit natin yung next na paragraph dun sa table. And then, break again, section break, and then next page. Okay? So, ito lang, ito lang, itong part lang na ito yung gusto nating i-landscape. So, we will just click this table and then orientation and then landscape. So, makikita natin na itong document lang na ito yung naka-landscape and the rest, naka-portrait na yung iba. Naka-portrait pa rin yung iba. 
Okay, as simple as that. And then, pwede na natin i-adjust yung table as landscape. Ganon. Okay? As simple as that. Okay, so our third tip which is to add numberings to your table easily. Okay, so we have, we have here again an example of a document. Okay, so ito yung example natin kanina. At ang gagawin natin is maglagay tayo ng uh, numbers, numbering dito sa side na ito. So, to do that, i-click lang natin, i-right click natin ang side na ito, and then in insert columns to the left. Okay? So, ayan, meron na tayong column. And then, madalas, yung ginagawa natin is, ini-input natin yung mga numbers manually. One, ganon. Hindi tulad dun sa Excel na i-drag mo lang yung tables. But to make it easy, Okay. So, to make it easy, i-click lang natin or i-highlight natin ang column na ito and then punta tayo dun sa home, dito sa numbering, numbering and then let's choose this. Okay. So, meron na siyang numbers. From 1 to 13. Hindi na natin kailangan mag-input ng numbers manually. Okay? So, ito na ang ating table. Mm -hmm. Pwede mo na may sulat doon na number. Numbers. Okay? Okay, four tips na tayo, which is using clipboard multi-pane. Okay, so we have here a document at dito sa ating document, dito sa home page, makikita natin yung arrow dito sa clipboard. Click natin to and then we can copy as much as we want and then paste doon sa clipboard. For example, gusto kong i-copy lang itong number 1 and number 3. So, number 1, copy, and then automatic na siyang na-paste doon sa ating clipboard. And then, number 3, copy, and then ayun na siya. And then, gusto ko siyang i-paste dito sa baba. Okay, so ang una, ang gusto kong i-paste ay unahin ko yung number 1, paste. Ayun na siya. Okay. And then, saka ito, paste. Okay. So, ayun na sila. So, yun. Ang gamit ng ating clipboard. And our fifth tips, which is to convert text into table. Okay. Again, so we have here an example of text. Okay, so kung ginawa mo ang text na ito using the same tabs, mas madali itong i-convert into table. So, example ito, i-highlight lang natin yung text na ginawa natin. And then, dito tayo sa insert. Okay, table. Convert text to table. Okay, and then i-adjust natin dito yung number of column and number of rows. So, tigta tatlo, name, ad address, and age. Okay, and then, separate te text at tabs. Okay, so tabs and then okay. So, ayun na siya. Meron na siyang table. Okay? So, easy lang.